Yo, 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 welcome you guys and gals, you beautiful people, to yet another episode of Levine Tech Talk. And no, you're not mistaken, this is not a clickbait. In this video, I'm gonna let you know how you can download 50 different OBS transitions all for free. And obviously the hard part, which is how to apply them inside OBS. So without further ado, let's get us straight into the tutorial. Okay, so first off, let me tell you that I have an announcement to make and that is nothing but the fact that Levine Tech Talk website is all live in the air. And from now on, every single tutorial is going to be live in the website as well. But today's topic, 50 obvious transitions for streaming purposes or streamers all for free. The only thing that you want to do is that just click on the link in the description of this video to open this web page. And then at this point, just click on the Google Drive link and then the Google Drive website will be all popping up. And then at that point, okay, so this is my own account and let's just open it into an incognito account. In your case, this is your account. So the only thing that you want to do is that just click up in there on download all button and you'll be all good zip and file and then you'll be having this file ready to go on your pc see the only thing that you want to do is that just click on extract all and then extract okay in my case i need to replace the in the file in this submission okay and then boom here we have it and let me tell you that inside every folder, we have five different colors from blue to yellow, green, red, whatever. This is like a miracle. And also with the sound effects, which I'll let you know how you can apply them all in the OBS settings as a transitions. Okay, so let's get into the OBS settings now. Okay, so inside the OBS application, first off, let me tell you that in the next video that I'll be putting after this video and I'll be uploading it, I'll let you guys know how you can make your webcam a circular shape, okay? So please stay connected and subscribe to my channel because that video will, will be uploading in the next few days. Okay, and then get back to our tutorial. The first thing that you want to do is that, okay, the first thing is that you want to have at least two different scenes. In my case, I have three, so I'm all good. One of them is desktop and the other one is full webcam, okay? And then, okay, at that point, under scene transitions, you want to have like set it to stinger, okay? If you happen, if your scene transition happen not have that option, just add it by clicking on that plus button and then uh, click on stinger and then hard right, click on three dots, properties, and then video file, click on browse, okay? And just select one of those materials that you just downloaded. Just click on it, press on open. So one of the tricky parts is this little timing down in here transition points that you want to change like to find the sweet spot it could be different between three to four hundred milliseconds up to 900 even 1100 milliseconds you have to find the sweet spot of the transition for yourself okay and then after that under audio monitoring if you want to have the sound effect of the transition for your obs you want to change it to monitor and output. If you select monitor off, you will not have the sound of the transition, okay? And then audio fade style, you better uh, click on crossfade and have it on crossfade. Click on okay, and at this point, we gotta be good, okay? After all, it was all the tutorial for today's video. Thank you for watching this video till the end. Please stay connected, subscribe to my channel. As I told you, the circular tutorial of the, like the webcam is coming after this video. So thank you for having me. Please take care of yourself and see you in the next one.